Hey, what's up everyone? This is Wicked and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the most beautiful ROM I have ever tested and of course we're talking about Mi UI which stands for Mi User Interface but this ROM is developed by um, Nagash Mode I'll put a link in the description with the XDA link with the XDA link uh, from where you can download the ROM, a uh, quick fix for some false closes, and of course the Super SU because this ROM does not come by default with root access. What is, is so special about this ROM? You'll find out in the following moments, uh, but first of all I'll need to show you the percentage, it is 73%. So I'm showing you this just uh, for you to make an idea of how fast the battery drains out so at the end of the video I'll also show it and uh, we'll make a comparison in terms of battery life performance so without uh, further ado let's get into this beautiful ROM and uh, let me show you okay I just pumped out the pumped up the brightness um, I'll get through all of these uh, features, all of uh, its features, its ROM's features. Um, of course, uh, I will browse through all of these apps and all of these widgets in order to show you how beautiful and why is it so special. And the most important thing that you may want to know uh, before flashing this ROM or even test it um, is uh, that this ROM is actually working with Samsung Lips. So, for example, you have Samsung TouchWiz camera by default, which is working perfectly without a miss. Um, you have a bunch of uh, Samsung sensors that are working. Uh, for example, the I don't know if you will see during this video, but there will be an eye there which will scan for your for your eyes in order for your device not to turn off. You know that kind of feature. Um, so, this is a really beautiful ROM that is, I don't know if you saw it, but it just appeared there. Um, this ROM is based on uh, Android KitKat 4.4.2, so you may wonder, well, it's been like ages to, um, since uh, Samsung upgraded to Lollipop and so on and Marshmallow, but this ROM, um, I'm a KitKat fan and this ROM runs perfectly on KitKat as it is and you will notice during my video that it's kind of fucking fluid. So um, let's get into the app store of the feature. We'll start with the apps because there are some beautiful apps that you need to take into consideration. First of all I will discuss is the music application and I will also play a song just to show you how it looks like and how the widget looks like when you play a song uh, for example this song okay let me turn off the so this is the music widget that you'll get by the way you can add a widget by long pressing the option key the yeah the option key and then click right here widgets and you have a bunch of different widgets from where you can choose what you want. You also have a wallpaper uh, category here and effects. Uh, you can customize them. As you may see, tumble, um, page, cascade, and whole a bunch of different features, uh, effects, and uh, as you may see, you can download more apps. Another important thing is that uh, so this is the music widget this is the notification bar and this is how it looks like this is the next song it's actually a recording um, this is the lock screen and if you are playing a song on lock screen you will get this um, this album art this should be an album art and these are the music key controls okay um, another important feature is that this ROM supports Play Store, so you may download uh, whatever you want, what app you want from the Google Play Store. 
It also comes with kernel editor, but I'm gonna get to them later. Um, in my opinion, the biggest minus, let's say like that, that uh, is uh, regarding this ROM, is that some apps, actually apps that are made from for by me company, is that they are not translate fully translated into English, so you may see this kind of uh, language here. It's kind of self-explanatory what it does, you know, you have a bunch of themes here, you can buy me credits, you can make uh, me accounts in order to download them, they look awesome. But uh, for me, this default uh, beautiful theme is what I need, and I'll show you why. Um, we went to settings in order to show you the bill number and uh, this kind of stuff. Well, it says the uh, features compatibility with other built devices and uh, data network modes and so on later. Um, and I'm not gonna get to this because in settings we'll find features and features we're gonna be talking about later on. Uh, you also have a Mi App Store which will allow you to download Mi Apps. So editor speaks new, you know, Tencent News, these kind of Chinese applications. And here we have a bunch of different tools for example, the recorder, but the most beautiful app in this uh, ROM is the clock application. Man, this is the most beautiful app I have ever seen. And it's so... It's kind of a 3D effect here, as you may see. Um, it's so beautifully themed that you can't really miss anything about it, as you may see. Everything is working perfectly, this seconds bar, the stopwatch, and lap time, yeah, you know, this is really beautiful, and it's not only beautiful regarding the theming part, the user, you know, friendliness is also a big plus from, uh, for MIUI, because you'll get a bunch of different options in these applications that will make your life much easier. Uh, recorder, this is how the recorder looks like, calculator, beautiful calculator, P divided by 2, explorer, compass, downloads, scanner, these are the default applications, default applications that come with every ROM, um, security, there's a wall, um, security network, let's say like that, which includes a cleaner application, data usage, you can uh, restrict data usage, you know, as I told you before, user friendliness. You can uh, block contact messaging app. Uh, this is the, let's say, a, an application like Smart Manager, which allows you to control the battery profiles. You have battery profiles, so for example, you have marathon or sleep. So if your, um, let's say, for example, if your phone uh, drops below 20, you may be able to activate the battery saver and to select a profile regarding uh, the ones that I showed you a couple of moments ago. Uh, you have virus scan and you have permissions, so you may set up uh, per app permissions. Um, okay, let's talk about the calendar. This is how it looks like. Beautifully, again, theme calendar. Notes. And another beautiful applications application is uh, the weather application, as you may see, really beautifully done. Uh, you have uh, me video, you have the weather widget here, and uh, how to create a folder that just uh, long press on an application and put it like this. You can customize the name of the folder, how do you get him out, like this. Um, by default, the ROM comes with the kernel editor, which will help you customize the kernel settings, like, you know, CPU governors, uh, GPU governors, CPU frequencies, you can't overclock this, uh, this ROM, but, uh, you, frankly, you won't need it. This is a calculator application that works perfectly. Um, and here you have a bunch of different, um, settings shortcuts like the clear all memory, the do not disturb mode, which will also uh, allow, will be shown here with a beautiful small icon, as you may see. Uh, the screenshot button, 
and this is how it looks and since it is based on uh, Samsung Lips you can take a screenshot by long pressing the home menu along with the power menu and this is how it looks like and you will be able to see your screenshots here notification bar like this and you can of course share them uh, with your friends um, okay let's talk about the lock apps lock apps is uh, a feature so let's get okay uh, I haven't uh, browsed all of these feet all of these applications uh, let's talk about the browser then we'll get into the features eventually it's gonna be a long review so make sure you grab yourself a, a cup of you know tea something cup of coffee bunch of popcorn and uh, enjoy it so this is the browser this is how it looks like and it's fucking fluid um, these are the tabs and of course the most important feature of this uh, browser the incognito tab <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, and uh, regarding the home button you will be able to select uh, whatever you know website you want to be on your speed dial this is how it looks like it uh, feels and behaves really smooth you don't really need another browser because yeah this is how what you get okay let's let's uh, get out of this application um, I haven't showed you the recent tab panel you can get uh, in it by short pressing the option key this is the the recent tab panel you also get a, a actually kind of a toast message that shows you uh, how much memory you have left for free free ROM for example so half a gig of free ROM pretty decent because I have a bunch of different apps open here um, you can swipe them out like this in order to you know, um, clear them the messaging app self-explanatory what it does um, yep. Yeah. let's get into phone's features as I told you before you have this beautiful feature called lock apps and I will get to the knee to the status bar and this is how it looks like so if you scroll down sorry if you scroll down here you'll have lock apps long press it in order to customize what apps you want to be locked so for example you gave your phone to a guest Yes, and um, you want to set up a password so they can't really see your messages, your bookmarks, <laughs> your history, your porn, your everything. And you just uh, want to uh, choose an app to lock. And of course, you will have a required password. And uh, yeah, that's how you will uh, uh, lock an application. Of course, you can deactivate this feature by uh, entering the password. Um, regarding the, haven't got any time to perform an anti benchmark, but uh, I will do it eventually at the end of the video. Um, okay, so a lot of you people ask me um, if the mobile data is working, if the Bluetooth is working, if all the features are working perfectly, and of course I will test them right now let's see if the mobile data works so I'll turn off the Wi-Fi and turn on the mobile data and as you may see I'm using uh, Orange network and as you may see H plus and of course you may be able to select 4G I haven't tested it frankly but uh, you may do this by going into perform network type and switch back and forth between um, LTE and uh, WCDMA um, I don't know if I am in 4G coverage right now, but it should be 4G eventually. Um, so, yeah, maybe if I go outside, I'll get more 4G signal, but it should be working. Um, so, mobile data works perfectly. Let's talk about the... Let me turn off because I have some surprises. <laughs> Let's uh, check out the Bluetooth. So let me turn on the Bluetooth and uh, I have here 
my beautiful headset. As you may see it's already recognized but it's not turned on. I'll turn it on right now and you'll see a notification. So it's already connected, automatically connected. So yeah, Bluetooth works. Um, what else? Brightness, full brightness, kind of dim brightness, of course. Auto brightness is working perfectly. Torch also is working perfectly. Um, screenshot, quick, quick shortcut. Um, sound modes, GPS. You want it to be deactivated in order not to know where you are. Buttons, hotspot, and synchronizing. Of course, it. Uh, this ROM is compatible with Google synchronizing system. Navigation buttons disabled. To re-enable them, touch home and the power button simultaneously. Navigation buttons enabled. And you can also access quick settings by with this quick shortcut here. Um, you can disable specific uh, notifications from from uh, applications and you have a quick search menu here um, I think that's pretty much it about uh, the features of this ROM um, regarding the customizability of this device I told you the Teams applications uh, work perfectly and uh, you also have uh, let me actually clean the sorry got used to clean the music application like this I think it should be gone what the heck okay let me just clean all the memory as you may see one gigabyte of free RAM after you clear the memory and it's still present here what the fuck I don't know frankly how to get rid of this um share notification floating notification lock screen notifications okay either way what i wanted to show you is that you can customize the the lock screen wallpapers so you can uh, you know have a new lock screen wallpaper from uh, every one hour every one day you know this kind of an interval of time a period of time and uh, yep, that's uh, pretty much it. So as I told you, I will do a um, benchmark test, and I will show you at the end of the video uh, what I scored, what is the score that I got. So okay, so regarding the performance part, this is the score that I got after I ran after I ran and to benchmark. 31,630, it's a pretty decent score. Uh, taking in mind that this ROM actually works on KitKat base. Um, uh, and this is the end of my review. The battery percentage is 63%. At the beginning of the video, I reckon it was 73. And this is great battery life. Taking in mind that I, ha I have uh, recorded more than, uh, let's say, 20 minutes. And I have also performed an Antutu benchmark, which is a GPU and CPU intensive. And the battery percentage is 63%. And you also get some, uh, you know, detailed in-depth uh, informations about what consumed your battery the screen. One hour and ten minutes. Um, so that was pretty much it. I hope you like my review. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. I'll put a link in the description with uh, all the files you need in order to do to flash this ROM. Thank you for watching. Wicked is out. Take care. Bye bye.